Hey, hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. On this video, you are gonna find everything you need to feel confident for your studies of economic growth. My name is Brad Cartwright and on this channel you will find over 300 videos covering the entirety of microeconomics, macroeconomics, international economics, and development economics, which means this channel is perfect for you whether you are an IB, AP, A-level, or university student anywhere on this beautiful planet. All right, let's take a look at the review tips for economic growth. Well, before I get started, let me just tell you that if any of the things in this list are unclear, check the description box below. I have links to the entire playlist on economic growth and how to draw the production possibilities curve and how to show this stuff on a diagram. It's all in the description box below. So if you need more information, don't feel lost. You have help down below in the description box. All right. For economic growth, the review tips are can you use a production possibilities curve or production possibilities frontier to explain how a movement from a point inside the curve to a point on the curve illustrates economic growth? Can you? Can you do that? Can you use a production possibilities curve to explain how an outward shift in the production possibility curve illustrates economic growth? If you can do that, great, go to bed. If you cannot, check out the how to draw the economic growth diagram in the description box below. It is a beautifully simple, clear, how you draw it, what you need to do in order to explain economic growth using a production possibilities curve. Can you use a long run aggregate supply diagram to explain how an outward shift in the LRAS curve illustrates economic growth? Can you? If you can't, check that same video, how to draw or how to show economic growth on a diagram. Can you evaluate the possible consequences of economic growth? Remember, growth can be bad. It can be too fast, okay? And can you calculate the rate of economic growth from a set of data? If you're an HL student in IB, you need to be able to do that, as do AP, A-level, and university students. So that's the gig here, my friends. If you're an, I, if you're an IB student, this list is golden for you because it's based. this list is based on that. If you're an AP, a level or university student, I promise you, you need to be able to do all of this no matter what introductory program you're in because let's face it, they're pretty much all of the same programs just expressed in different little ways. Well, there you have it, my friends, the review tips for economic growth. I hope you found that video to be helpful. Look at macroeconomics is behind every single political decision that's made on this earth. And I hope by this time in your studies of economics, you realize how important knowing this information is. Look at, I look at this whole thing as a massive collaboration project between me and you. So if you're interested in staying in contact, please subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so that we can be in contact with one another on a regular basis. All right, my friends, we got this. We're in this together. Be kind to someone today. Be good to yourself as well. And we'll talk to you in a bit.